Hey there, this is Fernando for Unihosted. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install the Unify controller or network server in a Windows computer so you can self-host your Unify controller. And Windows is something simple, so let's begin. All right, let's begin with the installation of the network server on this Windows computer. Now, I'm here at the UI website. The first thing that you will need to do is you will need to download the uh, network server installer. So here at the UI website, which is ui.com, we have the downloads option. I will go here and Unify will show us the different options of the controller or network server we have. We have uh, Windows, Mac OS and Linux. And we have here at the right side the version of the network server and the date it was released. Um, if you need another version, you can follow this link here and you will be able to download another version. So uh, let's get the Windows installer. You have the steps here that you need to follow, which are the ones that we are going to follow right now. And we have the file of the installer. Clicking there. And of course, you need to be an admin to install this on um, the Windows computer. So we have here the UIC prompt that I will just click on yes. This is really simple. We just need to install the controller or network server. This is not going to take or this shouldn't take more than a minute. And now you can see uh, that the server has been installed and we can just begin with the setup. So I'll hit here on finish and I will see in just a few seconds this little window that we have here. Um, every time that you open the controller, um, you will see this on Windows and you need to wait until this finishes or you have the green check mark. If there are any issues, uh, you will see um, them here. I will show you something like a red cross or something like that and you will need to troubleshoot a little bit. Um, so. We have the green check mark and we just need to get here on manage server in browser. This will open a new uh, browser window where I'll begin with the setup of this controller. For server name, I'll just leave Unify Network and same for the uh, region. I need to click here that I agree to the end user and terms of service. Uh, something that I want to mention here, if you need to restore from a backup file because uh, you had an issue with your controller, uh, you have the option here, uh, but you can also do it from the main menu after you do this um, setup this initial setup so uh click here on next and this is something that i'm not going to do right now but i think it's really important uh which is signing into your ui account um if i go here to advanced setup uh you can see here all the benefits of the ui account uh so i think it's really important if you do for the purpose of this demo i'm just going to uh, set the local access so i'll click here on skip and here uh, i just need to type the local username and password now we need to input an email. There we go. And now I'll hit here the finish button. It's setting up the server and there we go. We have the controller or network server now installed. Uh, this is the main menu of the controller. I can see the controller name that I entered before and the server IP. This is the IP of this uh, Windows computer. If I go to Unify devices, any uh, Unify device that is uh, on the same network of this controller or Windows computer will be um, right here. You can see I have just uh, an access point that is ready to be adopted. OK, so we are all set. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate and please uh, drop them in the comments. I hope this video was helpful for you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.